to be a little bit different. I've got a lot on my plate today. Mark has got the day off. It's a Thursday and that's usually our harvest day. So it's all on me today. Total beast mode. Totally jacked on juice and coffee. Got my fresh, this is all fresh shoots, pea shoots, sun, sunflower shoots, carrots, beets, parsley, apples, ginger, a bit of lemon, chard, super juice. Everything is totally fresh, obviously, except the uh, lemon and ginger. Uh, all the veg is right from my farm, alive as you can get. So I'm totally jacked on juice and coffee, which I'm going to need to be because I've got a ton of stuff to do today. So I've got to do all the harvesting. I got my harvest list here. I got to go and get arugula, anything I can get. I think it's almost done. I got to get 15 pounds of red Russian kale, 50 pounds of carrots, which I think are in the cooler, hopefully. Bunch of shoots. I need 45 pounds of, of salad mix. I need 20 pounds of spinach and and those shoots and stuff like that so it's actually not that bad i mean fortunately you know mark's leaving at a good time where where things have slowed down but i gotta do all that harvesting hoping to dodge the rain the rain has stopped but it again downpoured all day yesterday and all last night literally just finished about 20 minutes ago so i'm hoping that i can seize the day i'm gonna save my greenhouse harvesting for if it starts raining again so what I'm gonna do right now at this moment is I'm gonna take stock of what's in the cooler and then subtract that stuff from what I need. Then I'll have more of a concisive harvest list and then I'm gonna go and get stuff harvested. I'm gonna to go to the furthest plots first, get that done and out of the way, and then I'll save all the stuff that's here for later. So the greenhouse being the end because I can do that regardless of weather. But there actually is quite a bit of production on the home base. I've got stuff I can harvest here. I've got some lettuce under these tunnels. I've got some tat soy, some, red, some baby kale there. I'm gonna have to pull that tunnel off to get in there. And uh, I've got spinach in the front yard, but I, I need more lettuce and I need, actually, I need kale. Actually, I forgot to mention, I've got, I've got an order for a bunch of green kale. So that's at my furthest plot. So I'm going to take stock and then get in my truck head out there get the things I need and I will slide by my other bi rotation plot or high rotation plot that's close by take a look at what's there and uh, get everything I need from as far as away first then return to center return to home base and then do the rest of the stuff here all right this is going to be an epic day here we go the carrots I need here so that's great harvesting carrots when it's muddy out sucks it's the worst and uh, they also take a long time long time to wash so don't have to do carrots that's great all I really have to do today is greens all right I'm at my first site for harvesting under one of these is going to be the lettuce that I need I haven't been here in a while Mark's been doing most of the harvesting so, okay, this plot is pretty much done for lettuce. I'm just gonna skim what I can out of, can out of here and then we're done with lettuce from here for the season. Fortunately, for next week, our greenhouses, the uh, small greenhouses, the caterpillar tunnels, those should be online with lettuce to bridge us over until the new greenhouse comes online. comes online. At least that's the hope. So that's all she wrote for that lettuce, guys. So if you remember on a previous vlog, and I don't know the date off by hand, but I'll post the link in here as to when we planted this. We've got at least three cuts out of this, so this lettuce has certainly made its money and has been pretty productive. So that you can see there's kind of getting this mold on it now because it's been isolated in those tunnels with all these temperature fluctuations. So obviously that is, um, signifying the end of its life. Hopefully our greenhouse production can carry us on from this point. While I was here, I also pulled off the timer. It's no longer needed. The drip irrigation here, I don't have to do anything to. As the water freezes, it will expand and it will 
just follow its way out of whatever orifice there is, the ends of lines or through the drip emitters themselves. I've left this drip sit intact here for, what are we at now, four or five years and I haven't done anything to it. It survived every winter, sometimes two or three feet of snow. So all I need to do here is pull this off and I'm good to go. So did some harvesting, pulled this off, now I'm out of here to the next plot. So now I'm just going to head to this other plot and see what's there. At this point, we're basically, the, 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 the succession of harvest strategy is to have everything consolidated to the most localized plots for the winter. So it's just going to be my main plot and um, the, the plots that are really close to it. Um, I don't want to be traveling far in the winter, so the plot we were just at there, I'm not going to need to come back to much. I might come back once or twice over the next couple months. Maybe I'll grab some more kale. We're not really selling much of that kale. Uh, lettuce is all done. I might grab, there's, a, there's spinach we'll finish off there, so we'll come in there once more just to crop out the rest of that spinach and then we will crop out those carrots and then that plot is done for the season. So it turns out there is a little bit of red Russian kale I can harvest here, but as you guys can see, this plot is mostly tarped and pretty much done for the season. Got a little bit of radish here I could pick through if I wanted to, but I don't have any orders for it today, so I'm just going to take this Red Russian and get out of here. That's it, just a quick cut. Done. Next plot. Okay, there's actually quite a bit of baby kale to harvest here, Red Russian kale. Uh, my winter spinach is coming along very nicely. Good germination on there, I guess attribute that to the rain. We will cover those up with polytunnels in the next couple weeks. and. That is an overwintered crop, right? So this isn't a crop that I'm planting for winter production. It's actually for going over the winter that will be harvested early spring, so March next year. So when we tunnel that up, that'll just be sealed until the early spring or late winter of the next year. But I've got, looks like I've got a lot, a lot of red Russian to harvest here. I'll pull off those that tunnel and crop it out. Well, we're done here. I got everything I needed. This bed of spinach is nice and prime. That'll be great next week for a really good spinach haul. I've also got another bed under here. And I've got carrots under there. Those will all be good winter crops. And uh, spinach, at this, uh, spinach in the fall is a great crop because it's, uh, it just germinates a lot better with the high precipitation. You get really thick stands. And if you look at this carefully, it's a real pre premium baby leaf. And so that's nice because that means I can supplement that into my salad mix when I start to become more short on lettuce. And that's gonna happen in the next couple weeks because there probably will be a little bit of a, of a of a regress in production just as the field production finishes up and I'm waiting on my greenhouses to get full on. So my salad mix in the next couple weeks might be a baby spinach, red Russian kale, tat soy, a little bit of lettuce and some shoots like pea shoots or sunflower shoots. So um, that's looking good for the fall. We're all done here. I'm going to pack up and put this tunnel back and then I'm out of here. All right, so I'm back here. I've got a lot of stuff. Probably 30 pounds of red Russian kale, which is perfect. And then kale and lettuce. And so um, I will probably wash all that stuff tomorrow. I think today my goal is do all the harvesting and then do all the processing, washing and packing and all that stuff tomorrow. That way I can have, I can utilize the fact that it's not raining today to get some more stuff done on this greenhouse finally.
So that's it for today guys. I'm going to spend the rest of the day working on that greenhouse. And you can see I got a full load, stuff in the cooler. That's great. So tomorrow morning I will be washing veg, washing greens and all that kind of stuff and packing and doing some delivering. And uh, yeah, that's the, to the day. I hope uh, you guys found that helpful watching me in beast mode for the day. And if you want to see more stuff like this, please hit the subscribe button right now. Like and share these videos with your friends and check out my website, theurbanfarmer.co, where you've got links to my one day workshop, my online course, and of course my book, The Urban Farmer. And you can also make a donation to the show. It's much appreciated and always welcome. Thank you so much for those of you who do this. It really affords me the time off the farm to make these kind of videos. You can do that at theurbanfarmer.co slash support. All right, see you soon.